Hey guys, and welcome to another Epic Slide PI tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to get different parameters that describe your API key. Now, if we remember last time, your API key is a key that you get each different Minecraft account gets uh, on the Hypixel server. And this is required for any API call to um, API.hypixel.net, right? You need the key no matter what you're calling for. Uh, and on screen, you'll see the very basic code that I, I, I've been testing with. It's a very basic implementation of how it would work. So for the Hypixel API um, key endpoint, so remember last time here we had player, this time we're going to put in key, and then there's only one parameter, so you're going to do question mark because it's the first parameter, and the first and only parameter that this call takes is your API key, and it's stored in the variable key, so you go uh, API hypixel.net forward slash key, and then there's parameters, so you do question mark, and then you do key, because it's the only parameter, is equal to, and then you put in your API key. This can be uh, however you wish, it just has to be the exact API key with the dashes, like as you got it from Hypixel, basically. And then, of course, similar to last time, if you can see my episode zero, we are uh, using pprint to make it a little more readable. And uh, let, let's go through what, uh, what this might do. So if I show you guys my command prompt here, I can, uh, yep, there we go. All right, I can go ahead and run this. We're going to be running API contact.py just like last time. Press enter on that, and this is what we're going to get back. So you'll see that we get this very uh, short response, but it's very consistent. And some of these might be a little weird on what, what it might mean, but generally uh, some of these are a little straightforward. I'll be going over each one just to make sure that everything's clear. So first off, as with every API call, there's always a success tab, right? So this success right here, this is what you're, you're wanting to, to verify that the call went through, right? So this means that Hypixel properly received and properly gave out um, your API uh, JSON request, right? So they received your get and then they posted one back to you. And then uh, everything's stored under this neat little folder called record. Generally there's success and then there's just like a folder with stuff in it. Um, similar to if you remember the player API and the player stats one, there's success and then there's player and in player there's everything, right? So in here it's stored under record. And then we've got a few things. Let's go top to bottom. So the first one is the key, which is gonna be the exact same key that you put in. And that's gonna be just the API key uh, that was put in, right? Um, and this is what we'd call like a primary key if you guys have done any like SQL stuff. But this, for this purpose, it's just going to be the API key that you gave. Next up, we've got your limit. So there's a rate limit that Hypixel enforces on each individual API key. So in general, the default is 120. So you guys, as you guys can see, I have a default Hypixel API key. Um, I have tried getting... Uh, uh, higher rate limit keys in the past. I've been both somewhat successful and not successful at all in that uh, in the past with that. Um, but to increase your limit, essentially you just have to send in a support ticket for Hypixel and explain your project to them and why you wish to have a higher limit. And then they sort of judge from there and either ghost you or end up contacting you to give you a new key um, or to, to upgrade your limit. So this limit is how many calls you can make per minute, I believe. So you can make two calls a second with this, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, in a minute, you can make 120 total calls. Now this includes every single API. So if I'm sending 115 calls to the player API, and I'm sending six calls to something else, I'm already at 121 because these add up with each other. Okay, These are cumulative, right? Uh, and then every minute it resets, right? And then we've got the owner. So this is the UUID that's tied to the key. Right, so this is a dependent value that uh, depends on the key. So the key is attached, like one key is attached to one like Minecraft account. And this is the UID of the Minecraft account that owns this key. Okay, so this is just the the base key that I have on my Xerox 260 account, and this is the UID for my Xerox 260 account. Next up, we've got queries in the past minute. So this is essentially how close you are to your rate limit. 
as you can see uh, I'm at zero uh, and here I'm at 120 now this uh, carry in the past minute number this actually does not include this request this is from before so this number is actually one right now because it didn't it adds after you, it's already sent back the request so technically this is at one right now because I used up one call to get this back right and then here we've got total queries so this is your lifetime amount of queries uh, queries that's a bit of a weird word to say anyways it's the lifetime amount you've done and this carries over per Minecraft account you did not per key so if you have a different key okay if I have a different key so if I API new again and I get a new key I won't reset this number this number won't get reset a lot of people believe that this number will gets reset when you change your key but in fact it does not I tested right before this video by changing my key a few times around on different accounts and just checking where how, how stuff worked and um, essentially I've noticed that this number doesn't reset okay so this number is tied to UID and then your uh, API key is tied to UID and your limit 120 default okay you can go up you can go I don't like I haven't seen anybody go down uh, but you can request to go up some people have like really big keys like 1500s um, some people have even bigger keys some people have unlimited API key um, uh, curious so that's like skier I think has an unlimited one and there's like the big uh, hypixel developers like that have those but uh, I'm just your average guy so I've only got 120 key unfortunately um, and then obviously occurs in the past minute I'm at zero but it's actually at one remember because uh, I just did this anyways that's it for this video and so this was covering um, it, essentially just basic API querying for the hypixel API for the key parameter and then in case you are curious I've also got here let me show you real quick um, I've also got here if I go over here this is the github so if you're looking for anything uh, you can go to this github link um, and this is specifically for the key so you do uh, api.hypixel.net um, forward slash and then key so this is the key uh, API endpoint and it just gives you a basic description it gives you a list of the parameters like I said there's only one parameter and it's called key and then it gives you an example response uh, with some basic uh, stuff sometimes so if you ever uh, needing a refresher but don't want to go through everything you can just hop on the github and check this out and this link will be in the description in case you're curious uh, anyways that's it for this video don't forget to comment if you've got any questions and I should be able to help you with any of that and also if you want to suggest uh, if you're curious or you're, you're struggling with a, a certain aspect of the API you can always comment down below and I, I can definitely prioritize those types of videos to make sure that you guys get the help that you need um, and then of course if you like the video you can like and you can subscribe if you wish to get notifications um, for when my videos come out and stuff like that uh, but that's been it for this video and uh, ho hopefully it helps anybody who is trying to trying to figure this out.